Hello. So I wanted to talk about, I'm talking about two things in this video, a little bit about a module and then something else about just DMing in general and inventory management. So one of my players has a bag of holding and the player of the bag of holding ends up being the inventory manager. And a lot of, because a lot of things end up going in the bag, a lot of the group start to feel like, well, that player thinks it's their loot, that it's group loot. And sometimes that can lead to in-jokes and you know, just people generally not knowing what equipment the party have. Best way of sort of miss that I've found um, is I actually created a actor NPC, member of a, a member of the party that I have called the party. My group are yet yeah, 103 sessions in and they just refuse to pick a party name. They just say they're strangers who've been thrown together. So while they pick a party name, which makes it a real pain in the arse for me when it comes to like what to refer to them as. Uh, refer to them as. So they are just the party. Um, so I have used this token before to represent their location on the Barovian map, particularly when we were doing their hex crawl in Berez. Um, so I've used the same thing, just a little wagon. Esmeralda's got a wagon. She's their destined ally. Are often rolling around in it, um, and it has no horses. So that kind of makes sense. But the main thing I did here is in the permissions for this sheet, I gave all the players observe. Well, I made the default observer and gave all the players access to it, so all the players can see this character sheet. Then, in inventory, I used a module called Inventory Plus. Now, Inventory Plus lets you add in custom categories so you can create more categories within your um, characters annoyingly it only seems to do that for players i would love it if it did it for npcs because i know i showed you in another one of my videos i'm going to try and say up there i might it might not work um i talked about shopkeepers and items they have for sale particularly like a blacksmith or a potion seller, I would love to be able to create a category that's like services or research. So players can say, oh, right, if I pay this much, they'll start researching, making vicious arrows or a better healing potion. Um, but it can't, it can't do it at the moment. It really, it really bothers me. So what I did in terms of bag of holding they didn't just categorize it. Uh, the player who looked after the bag of holding, just for ease of navigating it, we said that he had a gore bag. He's a cleric. He does speak with dead, so he collects a lot of heads. So we just said that he had a gore bag, just like a subsection of his bag of holding, more for storage than anything else. And then he made a separate category for treasures. He made a category for items to be read. I do a lot of law books and like background reading for my group. Um, he made a book, a section of books that he had read and books that he was working his way through. So when I made the party, I created custom categories of the same thing. And I just dragged them all from the player of the player inventory into here. Now, when you use Loot Plus, a lot, most items default to either being weapons, equipment, uh, weapons, equipment, tools or just generic loot um so a lot of items will snap into the loot category you can just drag them into the, the section you want them to be in it's absolutely fine so you can see here i've made bag of holding bag of holding treasures bag of holding gore bag of all the many many heads they've collected um and then the other sections are still there but i i haven't had a need to use them yet I'm very aware that in the past I showed you and I recommended a video um, called item, oh, item collections, where you could go to a bag, you could click the plus next to it, and then you could drill down and see the contents of that bag and add things to it. Having now used that for about four months, I don't really recommend it anymore. I find it, it looked great when someone first told me about it and setting it up in a relaxing 
not middle of a session environment, it seemed great. But trying to click through all of that and have your players do it mid session, especially if they want to like pull an item out of a bag in combat, I learned quite quickly that it's really, really fiddly. Um, so I, I don't like that anymore. In fact, I think I've disabled it once I moved all the items out. So this is inventory plus. And there may be more things you want to do with um, a party actor. Obviously, features and spell books don't really apply, but you might put biography information in, journal. Um, downtime is one that can be used, and I've talked about downtime in a previous video. If the group have tasks that they're working on instead of an individual player, you could absolutely set uh, group downtime activities, and you could um, use your, your Forian's quest log with this as well. So a quicker video there. That's Inventory Plus and the concept of using a party actor. Um, everyone having access to that makes a lot of things much easier. Let me know what you think in the comments. Again, if you want me to cover anything, just give me a comment. If you want to check my campaign out, it's every Tuesday at half 7 p.m. Um, at twitch.tv forward slash Harrison underscore stream. It's full of Curse of Strahd spoilers, obviously. But yeah, uh, thank you very much for your time. Have a good day.